The compassionate man took pity on a famished deer and generously offered it food. However, what unfolded the following morning upon opening his door left him in utter disbelief, turning his experience into a phenomenon that quickly went viral. In his early years in San Antonio, Lynn Smith harbored a deep yearning for thrilling escapades and forging bonds with exotic creatures. His childhood reveries centered around becoming a park ranger, frolicking with majestic tigers and other grand felines. Yet, adolescence led him away from these wild aspirations, redirecting his focus toward a newfound ambition, to emerge as one of the foremost finance brokers. Diligently applying himself, Lynn dedicated relentless effort, achieving commendable grades, pursuing higher education, and embarking on a journey up the ladder within the finance domain. Eventually, his trajectory led him to the pinnacle of success, assuming the prestigious role of vice president at a prominent finance firm. Along this trajectory, he encountered a charming and amiable woman, whom he fell deeply in love with and eventually married. In an unforeseen turn of events, amidst the global pandemic's upheaval in 2020 and the widespread advocacy for social distancing, the Smiths habitually embarked on solitary evening strolls. Each sunset heralded their private odyssey through the neighborhood, hand in hand, reminiscent of enamored youths. These tranquil sojourns comprised meandering paths and quiet thoroughfares, immersed in the splendor of the natural world that surrounded them. Within the city's verdant embrace, diverse wildlife offered them a haven, enhancing the allure of their walks. Among the myriad delights encountered during these excursions, encountering the local deer became a cherished highlight. These graceful creatures frequently graced their path, traversing open fields with effortless elegance or seeking repose beneath the cool shelter of oak trees. The couple was consistently captivated by the sheer beauty of these creatures, regularly pausing in sheer awe, mesmerized by their allure as they observed the deer graze peacefully. Over time, a remarkable evolution unfolded. The deer seemed to acclimate to Lynn's and his wife's presence, gradually growing more at ease and drawing nearer during their encounters, fostering a sense of familiarity and connection between them. With their inquisitive gazes locking onto the couple's eyes, the deer refrained from drawing close enough to be touched. Nonetheless, their serene composure in the presence of Lynn and his wife led him to perceive these encounters as forming some sort of amicable connection. One day, while enjoying a snack of nuts on his porch, an unexpected occurrence took place. A curious deer, straying from its herd, ventured remarkably close to Lynn as he ate. Sensing an unspoken need from the animal, Lynn felt an intuitive understanding, recognizing hunger within the creature's gaze. Realizing the snacks he was consuming might not suffice to sate the deer's hunger, Lynn swiftly rose, his heart brimming with compassion. He returned to his home, swiftly gathering an assortment of fruits and vegetables. Approaching the deer cautiously, he extended the offerings with gentle movements. The deer's eyes sparkled with gratitude as it hungrily accepted the proffered fruits, revealing the severity of its hunger by swiftly devouring the provisions. As Lin observed the deer's contours, he noticed protruding ribs and a visibly gaunt appearance, indicating the creature's compromised health. Touched deeply by this realization, Lin felt immense satisfaction in aiding the creature in need. The following morning, his thoughts lingered on the encounter with the deer, evoking a nostalgic smile. For the first time in ages, he pondered his childhood passion for wild animals, contemplating how different life might have been if he had pursued a career as a park ranger. Lost in contemplation, he reached for the door handle, preparing to step out into the lawn. As the door swung open, he was struck by a breathtaking sight that filled his heart with wonder. Proudly standing on his doorstep was the very deer he had provided for, but it was not alone. Accompanying it were other members of its herd, drawn by word of the man's kindness and generosity. It became evident that the deer community faced a scarcity of food in their habitat, and their instinct guided them back to the individual who had shown compassion to one of their own. Fueled by empathy, Lin felt a surge of determination to make a meaningful difference in their lives. In response to the growing congregation of deer visiting him, Lin took it upon himself to provide an opulent spread of sustenance. With meticulous care, he arranged an array of fruits, 
vegetables, and foraged foliage, presenting a majestic feast befitting the noble creatures before him. Ensuring each member of the expanding herd received their share, Lin sought counsel from an animal nutrition expert, acquiring recommendations on the most suitable foods to nourish the increasing deer population. Following expert guidance, he curated a well-balanced meal, eagerly feeding his newfound companions every day. As weeks passed, a heartwarming routine became a daily affair for the smiths. Each morning, Lin welcomed an ever-growing congregation of deer eagerly anticipating their breakfast. What had commenced with a single deer and its herd had burgeoned into a community of graceful beings, drawn by the assurance of sustenance and care provided by Lin. Undeterred by the burgeoning numbers, Lin wholeheartedly embraced the responsibility entrusted to him. He found himself honored by the trust these creatures had placed in him. With unwavering dedication, he ensured meticulous preparations, ensuring each member of the expanding herd received their due share of nourishment. Inspired by the beauty and profound connection he experienced with the deer, Lin decided to capture these enchanting moments on film. Armed with his phone, he meticulously documented the daily visits, graceful interactions, and the sheer joy of being in the presence of these majestic creatures. After sharing one of the videos with a friend, Lin received encouragement to leverage the TikTok platform to share these heartwarming encounters with a broader audience. Despite having minimal social media presence, Lin, intrigued by the idea of reaching a wider audience, took the leap and uploaded his first video in February 2021. The initial clip showcased the garage door opening to a group of eager, hungry-eyed deer awaiting their daily meal. Little did Lin know that this decision would herald extraordinary events. As the video made its way onto the TikTok platform, it resonated deeply with viewers worldwide. The captivating scenes of deer congregating on his doorstep, the tender moments of feeding, and the profound connection between humans and wildlife struck a universal chord, captivating people of diverse ages and backgrounds. Within hours, the video began gaining traction, captivating the hearts of viewers across the globe. Within hours, the video gained immense traction, swiftly accumulating an overwhelming number of likes, comments, and shares at an astounding rate. Encouraged by the initial positive response, Lin continued to post more videos, astounded by the overwhelming love and appreciation they received. The heartwarming chronicle of the Smiths and their growing deer community sparked the imagination of millions, fostering a universal yearning for connection and renewing appreciation for the wonders of the natural world. As the videos went viral, Lin found himself propelled into unexpected fame. His social media accounts were flooded with messages expressing admiration, gratitude, and curiosity. People marveled at his kindness and the ethereal bond he had forged with the deer, christening him with various nicknames such as Snow White and Bambi. However, the moniker that resonated the most was, the Deer Whisperer. Presently, Lynn Smith boasts a following of over 2 million on TikTok, along with substantial followings on YouTube and Instagram. Media outlets worldwide clamored for interviews, eager to share his captivating story. During one of these interviews, Lin humorously remarked, I've been called Snow White, Bambi Man, all kinds of stuff. They're like my pets. I'm feeding more than 70 deer now. While Lin has a multitude of deer trailing behind him, several standout stars within the group have become familiar to his TikTok audience, names like Buddy, Bluebell, and Sandy. To this day, he continues to share videos documenting his day-to-day -day interactions with these endearing animals. The sight of a horde of deer trailing Lynn around his Lake Travis home has transformed his corner of Austin into a scene reminiscent of Snow White's enchanted forest, a portrayal he intends to sustain. Reflecting on the improbable journey from being a prominent finance broker to gaining fame through his kindness to a hungry deer, Lynn finds the experience remarkable. He acknowledges the unexpected turns that life can take, bringing immense joy through his unique relationship with these wild creatures. Would you believe it, that incredible tale includes not only nurturing the deer but fostering an unexpected bond with them as well. Have you ever found yourself forming an unanticipated companionship with a creature from the wild? Share your experiences with us in the comments section below. Your support and viewership are greatly appreciated. Until next time, thank you for watching.
Let's continue. The girl grew up in the desert and jungle, and grew up under the care of a lion. A very deep relationship was established between the girl and the lion, but the little girl eventually left the lion. Ten years later, when the former friends meet again, what kind of story will happen between them? Will the lion still recognize the little girl back then? You will never guess how the story ends. Sally was born in a French family. Her parents, as wildlife photographers, searched for wild animals all year round. In fact, their work is for the protection of animals and the environment. They take pictures of animals and publish them in magazines, so as to call on people to treat nature well. After Sally was born, they continued in their footsteps, but for the sake of their family they decided to temporarily settle in Africa, and although it was a risky decision, the couple added their daughter to the adventure. Therefore, Sally grew up in the African countryside. There is no doubt that Sally lived in such a unique environment and was destined to grow into a brave and free person. Perhaps other young children spent their childhoods as toddlers playing with children their own age, but Sally spent time with wild animals and witnessed true friendship between people and animals. After Sally was born, her parents were always busy with work and did not have enough time to accompany her, and she was rarely accompanied by other children, so she was quickly attracted by nature and integrated wholeheartedly into the vast land of Africa. Sally often runs out of the house to look for small animals that live in deserts and jungles. She seems to be born with a strong affinity and can easily mingle with animals. In fact, Sally's parents don't want their daughter to get too close to wild animals, because although wild animals are fascinating, they are even more dangerous and unknown. They are worried that their young daughter will be harmed. But seeing Sally's strong curiosity about animals, they tacitly allowed their daughter to communicate with animals, and sometimes recorded the intimate interactions between Sally and animals, such as beautiful photos with baby elephants, figures riding on ostriches and more. However, what wonderful things will happen when Sally meets a real wild animal. When Sally was four years old, she went out to play with the permission of her parents. She was already very familiar with the nearby terrain, and without thinking about it, she got into the jungle and prepared to spend a good day here. Sally walked cheerfully, looking for her playmate, but she didn't see a single animal after walking for a long time, and the whole jungle was silent. Sally couldn't help feeling puzzled. In the past, there were always many animal friends who came out to greet her. Why is there no animal today? Just when Sally was wondering, there was a rustling sound, and Sally looked forward, and a lion came out from behind the bushes. Sally has never seen a real lion, but she has seen it in photos, and she always hears from her parents that it is an extremely dangerous wild animal, and she feels a little flustered, for fear that this animal will hurt herself. Sally wasn't completely panicked, her gut told her the lion wasn't going to eat her, but she didn't have the courage to go up to it yet, so she just stood there and waited. The lion also noticed Sally's existence, and slowly walked towards her. When the lion got closer, Sally found that this was not an adult lion, and its size was far smaller than that of an adult lion. The little lion quickly came to Sally's side. It seemed to be very curious about the little girl in front of him, smelling her body. Perhaps it was because Sally was not afraid of it, and even stretched out her hand to touch its body, and the little lion also gave a friendly signal, leaning its head on Sally's body. This incident surprised Sally, who never imagined that it is so easy to be friends with wild animals. After returning home, Sally told her parents about the incident, but she was reprimanded. Although her parents allowed Sally to play with small animals, they firmly did not allow her to contact wild animals. They knew the danger of lions and tigers. But Sally didn't think so. There was already a certain connection between her and the little lion, a friendship that was enough to cross races. After that, Sally always sneaked out to meet the little lion. The time they spent with each other was full and short. Every time Sally hadn't played enough, it was time to go home. They could only bid farewell reluctantly, looking forward to meeting next time. In this way, Sally and the little lion have kept in touch. After six years, they have become inseparable and have become each other's most important friends. 
Even the parents were moved by their relationship and no longer hindered their daughter from getting along with the lion. It can be said that Sally was accompanied by the cubs throughout her childhood. They slept in the sun, ran in the jungle, and played by the river. They spent all the happy times together. These memories are Sally's most precious things. But when Sally was 10, her parents decided to move back to France because Sally was going to start school. Although Sally didn't want to leave here for a moment, she understood that this was an unchangeable decision. She could only go back to France with her parents, and she couldn't even say goodbye to the little lion, which became her biggest regret. Like ordinary people, Sally finished college in the city. After graduating from college, Sally made a shocking decision. She wanted to go back to the African jungle and follow in the footsteps of her parents to learn photography. It has been 10 years since she left Africa. She misses her friends and the mysterious animal world every day. Now she can be responsible for herself and finally do what she dreamed of. Sally stepped into the land of Africa again, full of expectations and longings. She kept imagining the beautiful life here, and chose to live in the place where she lived when she was a child. The 20-year-old Sally is different from when she was a child. At that time, the little girl had only a curious heart and was unable to protect herself. Now, Sally not only has a heart that loves animals, but also has more understanding of nature. She believes that she can explore the mysteries of more animals. After living here for a few months, Sally regained her previous feeling and gradually integrated into the environment here, so one morning, Sally decided to go into the jungle and start a new adventure. In the past 10 years, everything in the forest has changed. She couldn't help marveling at the miracle of the Creator, but she would never believe what she would see. Walking through a stream, Sally heard footsteps coming from a distance. She slowly followed the sound to find the source. Suddenly, a huge lion flashed out from nowhere, and the footsteps were also coming from it. Sally swallowed, judged the possible danger, and fixed her eyes on the lion. But the more Sally looked at the lion, the more familiar it became. She searched carefully in her memory, and suddenly a figure flashed in her mind. This lion was Sally's childhood playmate. Sally couldn't hide her excitement, but she was worried that the lion would not recognize her, so she could only look at it expectantly. Obviously, the lion also recognized Sally. It was slowly approaching Sally, and its tail was already shaking. Neither of them expected to see each other ten years later, and Sally couldn't hold back her thoughts anymore, and rushed to the lion's side, hugging her best friend tightly. The lion kept arching its head against Sally, acting like a baby. Sally had imagined the scene of meeting the lion countless times, but at this moment she was too excited to speak. Although many people do not believe that there will be feelings between humans and animals, the facts have proved that the love between humans and animals exists across races and is indelible over time. It is this love that supports human beings to explore more natural magic.